Hey everyone, welcome back to another Whale Wars, and I'm gonna let you know, straight up, there is not a lot happening during this current season of Godzilla Battle Line. This uh, Whale Wars is going up on 12-7-2022, and a uh, very dead season. Uh, not a lot of news, not a lot of content, so... Listen, I'm dumping out a bunch of Whale Wars, I'm gonna be in and out of the house, you know, I'm not gonna be around. So I pre-recorded a bunch of Whale Wars, I'm dropping them for you whenever uh, we have a slow day. So I'm just giving you a heads up before you're like, Melee, Melee, Melee fell off, he's only doing Whale Wars. We got, we got like 24 episodes of Whale Wars to get through. Alright, we got like 24 matches and that's before the finals, I'm pretty sure, right? So, putting them all out there, just letting you know that if you see a bunch of Whale Wars in a row, it means I'm not home. Alright? Now that that's out of the way, let's take a look at this battle. Stagathy, you know, longtime viewers of the channel know Stagathy. You played the game for a while, you know him. And Mike Pine as well, another Godzilla Battle Line YouTuber. Go check him out. This is their battles. I haven't watched it. You guys haven't watched it, so let's go check him out. All right, so we got the loading screen here. A lot going on on this loading screen. It's crazy. So we got Mothra popping in. Kiryu is ready to go. We're looking at Mike Pine's perspective. All right, so Stagathy is on the top with the Mothra. Mike Pine is down here with the Kiryu. Let's check it out. Space Godzilla, Super X Dimension Tide, Mogera, maybe going for some cheeky plays here with this deck, and Godzilla 04 to boot. So let's see what happens. So Space Godzilla on the far right, Stagathy with the with the uh, Biolante. Biolante is going to be strong in London next match. We saw that in the last Whale Wars. Godzilla 04 in front of the Space Godzilla. There is a Super X on the field. I mean, it's going to run straight into the other Godzillas. There's another Godzilla 04. So this Super X is about to go down. Yeah, okay, so G Geo 4 and Space Godzilla are powered up. There's the Bailante coming in. Mike Pine going for the cheeky Mogera, but Godzilla 04 was just close enough that he could push it away. So he's dead. Kamakris got him. Bailante and Godzilla are taking down the Space Godzilla. Mike Pine charging up the energy. He's got the Kamakris on the way. These crystals are going to keep them busy for a little while. Super X on the left because the Kamakris are not going to be able to hit the Super X. The only thing that will is the Godzilla 04. There's the Dimension Tide pull. Now Godzilla 04 is going to be able to hit him. So here's the counter dimension tide. There we go. Doesn't matter. Super X is still dead. Kiryu leaders going to be able to hit them with the AoE. Not dead yet. Going to get another hit in. Geo 4 is really putting out damage over here. All right. So that did a lot more damage than I thought it was going to do. Mike Pine saving up energy again. A little bit expensive. There's the Kamakura Swarm that he uses. Earth on the right. Godzilla 04 on the left. Two ships passing in the night. Gigan as well. Gigan up, so he's making a hard play for the left, using up his energy while Earth lumbers around. There is Biolante. Maybe we get some AoE on the Gigan. And Gears for the defense. And Gears getting pushed away. Kamakris pulling in. Oh, turn the Gigan around. Gigan is dead between these three guys. But Biolante is not going to go after Geo 4. By the time and Gears gets there, it's too late because he's dead. Biolante and Earth are moving mid. Mothra Leader is probably going to kill Geo 4 right here. And then there's the Super X to help out. Super X in the bottom left corner. I almost didn't see it because it's the same color as the surroundings, but that's going to help Kiryu Leader kill the Biolante. There's the Dimension Tide. Okay. Really not... Oh. This game for us? Oh, okay. Well, oh, okay. Look at that. Okay. So we have the Kamakura Swarm and the Super X taking down Earth. He's going to go down there. And then we got Space Godzilla keeping uh, Super X alive and Super X violence on Super X violence. All right, so Mike Pine making a strong push here. Kamakras aren't going to be able to do anything to the Mothra, but the other three units are. Gigan 04 coming up the left. Godzilla 04 and the Kamakras making a push there. There is the Mogera for a cheeky snipe. Godzilla 04 pushes him away. And or who just died to the Gigan 04? I didn't even see it, but Mike Pine has a pretty big force up here. Dimension Tide is not going to kill both of those, uh, the Gigan and the Space Godzilla. And then there is the Super X to boot. There's the Godzilla again. Stagathy is on the... Defense over here. He's got Super X coming up. Super X going to get distracted with some of these crystals. Super X takes down the Super X. Super X is distracted with the crystals. There's the Geo 4. Push that Anguirus away. He's coming up on the leader. They're getting closer and closer. Mike Pine has not used his Absolute Zero. There it is. There's the Absolute Zero cannon. And then what's he going to do? Dimension Tide or something to get a cheeky win. Dimension Tide these other guys. Super X. He's leaving Stag at the open. He's letting Stagathy come in. So there's the Dimension Tide. Into the into the into the AoE right there with the Super X. This is a really close match. This is very, very close. Oh wow, that Gigan just saved his life right there. This Super X is gonna hit this Mothra and then it's over, right? 
Gigan on the bio. Nope, there's the Mogera. I don't think he's going to be able to stop that Mogera. Oh, Mogera has been stopped. Gigan. Gigan is doing some damage. Wow. Stagathy is literally his health is not even viewable. Ah, uh, here we go. The cheeky dimension tied for the win right there. All right. Listen, that was crazy. Pixel. Pixel health. That literally was pixel health. We couldn't even see it. That's probably the closest battle. Not in ter that, that Actually, in terms of everything, that might have been the closest battle we've seen yet on Whale Wars. That was crazy. I like that one a lot. There's a second battle, right? Let's go see what the second battle looks like. All right, so we are back again. This is the second battle. This is on London. Stagathy has that Biolante, so keep that in mind. We've been seeing that a lot. A lot of Biolante plays clutching up on London, so let's see how Mike Pine reacts to that. Does he let the Biolante live? Probably. I don't think he has anything that's going to get uh, and kill that Biolante outright just yet. Maybe if he had Gigan and Mogera, he probably could have sniped it out, but he doesn't have it right now. So there's Godzilla 04 coming up the mid because he's not getting slowed. There's the guy again on the left. Bailante just have now evolved. Stagger is probably just going to drop it. Yup, right there. So Bailante and Earth, very powerful team right now. Bailante didn't really move for a second right there. Guy again went straight to Mothra, but Bailante is going to run through him really quickly. There's the Angiris play, okay? So Angiris bio in the middle. Earth is going to take down that Godzilla. We'd love to see it. He's gonna do not a lot of damage in his pocket i didn't even see bro i didn't even see that super x it's just hidden in amongst the amongst the building so super x is gonna take down Bailante for sure he mike pines this stack distracted stag at the super x with the camacris for now which is gonna be huge but mike's is stuck on this angiris which is not gonna be good but we got the space godzilla crystals here uh crystals are going away that means this super x is gonna go down no, actually, the Dimension Tide gets them. Okay, so Earth is going to fight this Gigan for a second. Doesn't quite kill Gigan. The Space Gods is definitely going to kill this Super X, right? I feel like he's within range. Maybe not. Maybe the Super X is going to be able to get an extra hit on him and kill him. Just it was just not fast enough right there. So there is Bailante in the middle with Godzilla 04. Bailante hit him there. Excellent. So now we have Super X again. A lot of power moving up the middle. There is the Kamakura Swarm, just out of reach of the Bailante and the Super X. So we'll see how well that get, that uh, goes. Bailante, not going to get a ton of hits on this Kiryu because of low health, but we are moving in closer and closer. Super X on Super X Violence. Space Godzilla is occupied with G04. Bailante is pushing up. Space Godzilla is down. This guy again is going to go through Godzilla 04 really quickly. Final Wars is down. Bailante and Super X are going to take this Gigan. The Gigan's not attacking for some reason. That's weird. There's Angiris. I probably would have put Angiris on the land next to him. That's just me. Super X on the back side. Kind of out of range of everything. Not out of range of the other Super X, but that's okay. There is the Mogera. Mogera not taking down the Bailante. Mogera just... Or, I'm sorry. The Super X. Now Mogera is taking down the Super X. We still got to deal with this Angiris coming up. So in Gears, there's the two Kamakuras to take the uh, Super X attention. Space Godzilla to boost the Super X and the leader. And then Bailante is up the middle. So Bailante always proves to be trouble. Gigan 04. Let's see Gigan 04 run through this Bailante real quick. No, but he's got... Listen, Mike Pine had all his firepower on that Bailante. He's trying his damnedest to make sure that that thing does not get to his leader. He's doing a good job of it too. So there's Godzilla. There's the Super X pull by the Dimension Tide. Super X is very low health, not looking too good. Mike Pine could use the Dimension Tide and take down that Super X. Very close battle. Oh, Absolute Zero Cannon. Probably going to try to keep him alive for Mogera pull, I would assume, and he's just going to drop Mogera on him and call it a day. Yup, there we go. Mike Pine ekes out another victory, possibly, by Absolute Zero Cannon and the Mogera, and no... Dimension Tide. Again, with the Dimension Tide pull, Mike Pine ekes out that victory. Staggedly hits him with the uh, waiting time punishment. But there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, Mike Pine has won both of his battles against Staggedly by <laughs> absolute zero cannon, followed up by an effect of some kind. Listen, that's the high rank meta. You got to stall with that Kiryu. You, you absolute zero cannon. You basically lock the victory. So, listen. I'm I'm shocked by this one. I thought maybe Bailante would have gotten a few 
a few pretty good hits in and gotten Kiryu really low, but that was not the case. And Mike Pine was able to play enough defense to make sure that that Bailante does not kill him. So that is what we had that. Listen, that's two battles. I thought there was going to be three. I thought there was going to be three, but there's two. So that being said, did you like this one? Mike Pine play well. Did Stagathy play well? You let me know down below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will catch you all on the next one. Bye-bye.